It's day two of CES, and today I looked at a ton of drones. Seriously, there are a lot of drones here. I tried to ask a lot of the companies that I actually spoke to about what differentiated them, and it seems that every single one of them is trying to create a simple to use product. That's good news because drones are actually kind of difficult to fly. And most of the companies here are actually giving out information with their drones when you buy them that lets you know, this is where you go to learn how to fly the drone. This is where you register the drone, anything along those lines. And that's really good information because I feel like it's been heavily documented that people have been getting themselves into trouble with these things. That being said, not all of the companies are actually focusing on commercial drone space. Um, there was one that we talked to that showed us their drone that is more for the agricultural and they called it humanitarian type customers. So for instance, if you're a farmer and you want to look at your crops, make sure they're doing okay, see if maybe some areas need watering or maybe there's some drowning going on in the fields, you can use this drone to survey them. And the cool thing about it is the battery life. They say it lasts about two hours, which is way above what a drone, especially this size, would usually last. So there's a lot of really cool technology in this drone space and, oh my gosh, I'm not even sure we got to it all. <laughs>